Hey, what up, guys? Gabe the Bronze Legend here. I want to welcome you to part two of the interview breakdown. It's going to be a smaller video from the part one, but we're going to delve into Irv Gotti, Funk Flex, June 12, 2017, on Hot 97, New York City. And this snippet of the interview is discussing one of the biggest topics in Irv Gotti's career. Forget just this time, his career. All right, let's get to the remaining of the interview. Um, we're going to keep it 100 because I don't know the answer. I always keep it 100 with you, yo. I may get in did trouble you, for a you, few things that I not, said here. No, oh, absolutely. No, me yeah. too, but we clean it up. We always said we love somebody before we... Uh, yeah, you know. exactly. All right, did you ever feel a way with me in playing 50? 50 cent records. We've never talked about it. Did you feel a way? Did, did, Let me did, give it keep to you. It, you keep, keep it, it up. 100%. 50 cent was so hot with that damn in the club record. I did not feel one bit of a way. Okay. You have a job to play. Now, rule. <laughs> yeah, it's a different story. <laughs> now, my rule. brother. 50 cent in the club. One of the hottest tracks ever made. Still played to this day. It's considered a birthday song, even though it had nothing to do with a birthday. It's just because that little, we don't give a fuck. It's not your birthday line. So, Funk Flex, who runs New York City, who runs hip-hop when it comes to dropping new tracks, putting people on, got his hands on in the club with the ghost shorty and all that shit. And now he got Irv Gotti, who was basically ran out of business through 50 Cent and G-Unit. Being attacked heavy at the time, beef with Ja Rule, and he's getting that million dollar question. How did you feel when in the club was being played? He said that it didn't really bother him because the pack was just too fire, which you have to agree on that point. But let's keep going to, to see what else is said. Uh, rule never talked to me about it. Look, now my brother, my brother, man, felt that away. was rule mad at I'm gonna me? give you a rule. Give me on. Rule wasn't like detrimental mad at you, but, but it, what the fuck? It, it, it stung. It stings. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give you a true story when we first heard in the club. You know, the Wangster record, it was a snazzy tune, but, you know, it was nothing. We were so heavy. Now, a quick little background. Wangster was the first single off the Get Rich or Die Trying album, 50 Cent, you know, backed by Eminem and Dre. Then you had Wangster come out. And Wangster... In the video, they actually have a little kid with a doll, and it has Ja Rule's original chain that was stolen from him by a person under the 50 Cent camp. Or that was a rumor. They're saying that it turned out that, that Ja Rule was uh, sleeping with the guy's girl, so the guy you know, ran up on him with the gun. Them, give me the chain, gave him the chain, and then the guy went ahead and loaned it to 50 to for 50 could do it in the video. So it was around those rounds. We'll delve into that in the future. But so this is in the club in the heat of the murder ink versus G unit, Ja Rule versus 50 Cent War. So now we're gonna hear the opinion. Herb look crazy right there. Heavy making these big look at look at look at he's so cool. Yeah. Look at this. We shit. were so heavy making shit. big ass records. was like, yeah, it's a snazzy tune, but who cares, <laughs> right? People start mumbling to me, yo, he's with D.R.E. And D.R.E., I respect, like, he's the best producer, in my opinion, mm -hmm. of all times. Of all times, he's ill. So I was like, shit, right? And then we was all in my office, Worldwide Plaza. Rule was in the office. We was in there having a good time. And here comes Flex at 7 o'clock. <laughs> I got the new <laughs> So he said, all right, let's listen. Let's, <laughs> let's listen to it. Dun 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 Buckle up, we have a major problem. This, this record, and he's with Jimmy Iovine, Dr. Dre, and fucking Eminem. We have a problem. Now, when Buckle I'm up. when I'm now I'm taking this record back, is Jaw tight at me? 
a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I mean a I, little l- touch, listen, a touch. Listen, you could ask any rapper who's ever been involved in a beef or anything. They're all gonna be like, "Yo, I'm like an I'm an executive." So it didn't. I was like, I went into straight like, "Yo, I gotta think of what to do." You understand? I gotta think of what to do to 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 handle this massive wave. Cause let's be clear. Whoever is the biggest rapper in the game really controls the world. Uh, absolutely. That's Whoever's the, the biggest rapper, when he comes in the room, he's the nigga. Mm-hmm. He I don't Throws care. Space. Like, listen, I remember when Usher sold all of them records, right? So like 18 million. We was at a party, but when we came in with fucking X and J, nigga, we was the niggas. You understand? And that's what, that's why people in hip-hop fight so much. Because who, who? I said in the last video, X, Jay-Z, Ja Rule, Mike Geronimo, the original Murder, Inc., before the Murder, Inc. label was even created. And... Irv is just telling us how they used to go everywhere, and once they pull up, they were the king. They were the kingpins, the top dogs, which made sense because DMX and Jay Z were just top of, in the top of the world, besides M and maybe Nelly. So then you got Fifty Cent, hot as fuck, in the club. You know, Get Rich or Die Trying once again, greatest so greatest freshman album I think of all time, and. Irv Gotti, who was one of the most respected producers at the time, and Jaru, one of the best artists at the time, it was just an onslaught. It was it was way too much. He who's on top controls the universe, like you understand. And anything he says, it goes. See now, what I'm saying? I think now I feel Fifth knew me and you was tight. Everyone knew me and you was tight. And then because there's a line, he maneuvered it right. I'm gonna tell you, there's a line in the record. What's that record? Um. I let my watch to to me. He says he says in fifth, well, me and you have not talked about this. But he says, <laughs> Flex my man, he, he gonna, gonna pump, pump my, my shit. shit. Yeah. I'm a liar and I really don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I do I was like, all right. Yeah. Fifth is a little mad because I don't play all his songs. I, I already, I, I, I caught, that's what I felt on the song. When I see him, I'm going to ask him. But now, in that time, have you and 50 Cent spoken, seen each other? We've seen each other. We don't, we don't speak. Did we, you ever speak to him before that? Before you speak. had an issue? Before there was an issue? Did you, were you and him, him cool? No, I ain't know him. You never knew him. So knew him. is that relationship, was it always because... You just were affiliated com- with Supreme. Is that always was that always know. what it was? I, I, don't, I don't know. I was too busy getting a lot of money. To, he wasn't on my radar, and people like. Did he, he ever try to get with Murder Inc? No. Did he ever want to be on absolutely, a label? Absolutely not. He, he was always wanted to be his absolutely own. Absolutely not. I always wanted to be. I don't. Well, and and I don't know. People people like they tend to forget. Like he first came out at us with that murder, murder your life's on the line and stuff like. That. Yeah, if you go back in time, look at the OG unit. Um. Mixtapes, a lot of fucked up shit towards Murder Inc. and you know Supreme and them, the, the the Supreme team, all that good shit. Yeah, yeah, he got at us early, but we 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 totally dominated him. Like, but people forget that loss that he took with that. I don't remember and that song. His uh, thing. Come on, he had the Murder Murder. Your life's on the line record. See, but now, Gotti, how many years ago is that? That's twenty years ago. See. And and I, I want to tell you something. I have a different eye and <laughs> right. opinion of it now, 20 years later. What's your opinion? Bro? My opinion of it, God, is I felt like now that we've seen or I have seen how runs have a time. Yes, we all have them. I'm start, I, I remember a few years back saying to myself, the change was not a hundred percent coming from 50 cent mm-hmm. it's coming from the change in the wave of the music because once we get yes. to a it you know it's what similar listen watch this i'm gonna like give drake you a, i'm gonna give you where a we are now i'm gonna give you a comparison it's similar to when you was puffied out and shiny suited Correct. out and then x said and we get at me dog let's take it back to the streets motherfucker there you go that was a little clip 
um you know the rest of the interviews part one this part two but i mean yeah you know early 90s you had illmatic you know taking it back to the streets a bit but you know then biggie puffy and they came out they were dominating with the with the shiny suits and then x came out and said yo we're gonna we're gonna get at you dogs and game over him and jay-z then took over and then you know unfortunately dmx who was even hotter than jay-z in 99 2000 outsold jay-z when jay-z was a top guy you know he, he was acting and everything couldn't get his life together jay's on a different stratosphere when it comes to to not only music but just business um you know 2.5 billion is his new value from what i just saw um irv Gotti, you know irv Gotti it has a stamp on hip-hop he's actually hip-hop a hip-hop legend but you know he had a lot of problems with the murder inc brand he had a lot of problems with ashanti you know the ashanti situation got ugly recently because of drink champs um flex is still flex flex is still running new york city i don't listen to flex i don't you know here for the bombs no more because she used to frustrate me but at the end of the day this is what it is but i want to thank you guys for joining me Peace out. See you on the next one.